finished our last actual bench press day and then just like the rest of them next week we'll go into uh it'll just be like a light day kind of thing but this is our last actual working set day yeah for sure yeah so he hit for two sets of triples at what his at, you did you hit that in august 225 maybe like i'm pretty sure in the previous times i've hit 20, 225 i've hit it maybe in august and maybe one time before that okay. but both times uh, you did hold the bar whether or not you assisted. Oh, I got you. Yeah, so, yeah. so like borderline hit it for a single in the past. So you did two sets of triples at that. So, so that's sweet. It's been a, a good improvement. I hate bench. <laughs> <laughs> bench has been my worst lift for forever. I, I don't really know why. What have you, have you changed anything? Have you noticed there's been certain things that you've done that have been better? Is it just kind of the structure that's helped, do you think, or what have you found? I think the structure definitely helps. So I owe, I owe this a lot to you. <laughs> <laughs> Something that helped me improve was to try to be more aware, to keep it along like a sort of a vertical path. Yeah, for sure. And then I think on this sort of peaking cycle in particular, I've done more I kind of made my arch larger, I think. I rolled further back onto my... Keep onto your my traps. Shoulder. Yeah. yeah, so keeping them keeping them more pinned down. and I think, does that engage your, your triceps a bit more? And yeah, so a lot of people have misconceptions about the arch, right? Where they'll be like, oh, if you're arching, you're cheating, and all this sort of stuff. But the whole purpose of the arch is for basically how you're distributing your the force into the bench. So if I'm totally flat 
and I'm trying to push, I have a small platform to base off of, and I have to basically, like, the line of drive isn't very strong. So if I arch my back, I platform my scapulas or my shoulder blades onto the bench, basically, like, arch myself back, I can pin my traps a little bit, and it just makes everything super tight in your upper back, and then my line of force is going straight down. And then with that, the, when I drive my heels in and press into my back, then it just kind of makes that extra little bit of that line of drive coming in. And then when I'm pushing the bar, I'm not thinking about pushing it up, but I think about pushing myself into the bench. And then in turn, it moves the bar up, but it's a lot stronger. And I find like, for what Sean was saying, a lot of people who have like, you'll watch them and the bar will be kind of moving all over when it comes off of their chest. Like it doesn't just go like straight down, straight up. As soon as they learn to like platform out, arch their back, core tight, glutes tight, everything super tight, and then just bring it down and straight back up, they start being way stronger because their base of support's a lot better. You'll start to notice, like if you get stuck at the very bottom, like it won't even come off of your chest, likely, depending on your grip, but it's largely kind of like peck and shoulder oriented, if you get it part way up and then it's just like you hit a wall and you can't go any further, a lot of the times it's like triceps and then that last little bit of flexion to the chest that gets it all the way up. In a sense, if you have someone watching you, it's nice to go to that point where you're hitting the wall because you can start to see of where that's happening, what's going on, and then kind of like I mentioned in my previous video when I did the recap of week one and two, is where you start to notice you break apart on like the heavier lifts and things like that. Of course, trying to do it safely, like have someone spotting you sort of thing. Um, that's where you can start to base your exercise selection on when it comes down the line. So I'm hoping I can use this to be a little bit more methodical so that I can improve my bench. Because like I said, I've kind of had a lock for bench for a long time. I don't think I've ever done more than 215. I hate bench. <laughs> well, that looks nice, right? Yeah, one more day.